Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Now this is tutorial number two in the series Android Volley Library, PHP and MySQL. And here I am in ZAMP and this is my database that I currently have that we uh, did uh, previously in the previous video. So uh, today I'm going to add a user and I'm going to use this user's credentials. Uh, that is the email and the password to sign in. So that's exactly what you're doing today. Uh, so this episode we are going to do signing in. So uh, already here I have my emulator and I'm going to add a new user. So I'm going to give him some random values here and the password I'm going to give this person yeah that okay so currently in my database is ZAMP uh, I do not have this user so this uh, I want to create this user and finally I use these credentials uh, that is this uh, the email and the password to sign in later as we finish up so i'm going to sign up and this guy has already been successfully created so let me check him okay here he is and okay so now let's go back to android studio so uh, this is the method that signs the user in and i also gave uh this other method here that does uh, most of the work if you've not seen this also you can just go back to the previous video and uh, learn more from the same so today I i'm going to go to our main activity under project apps and uh, java you can just locate your main activity and open that one so currently this is how it looks like it has just the sign, the sign up button and the sign in and the layout file looks like this so this is how it looks like it has uh, two edit texts. That is the email and password and a button and two text views also that are clickable. So I'm going to take this data, the email address and the password, and then feed it inside a sign-in method and send it back to my database and confirm if this user exists. And if this user exists, then I'll return a message saying that uh, success. So the first step is to uh, write this method. And uh, like you guys, I have written a method already for you, uh, Android. And I'm going to be sending this uh, in the uh, groups. So once you open it, uh, this is how it is. But we'll just modify it uh, inside the program. So you can just copy all this data. And then inside main activity, you can just paste it uh, below. And uh, you'll get all these errors. Okay, so uh, the first step to do here is uh, to create the volley label, the volley variables. And the first one is a uh, request queue. And we call it m request queue. That's it. And the second variable is a string request. And we call it m string request. Now, once you create these variables, then some of these errors will just uh, disappear. And uh, once you get these red lines, you can just click on it. Then, uh, once it uh, shows, okay, once it tells you that you're supposed to import, then you can just hit Alt plus Enter. Okay, Alt plus Enter. Okay. 
right file then we can just uh, also import this Okay, so once you import, most of the errors will just disappear and uh, we'll be left with this. Now, this is supposed to be a method, get base URL. And once you go back to your sign up activity, we had just written an exact uh, copy of the method. So you're going to, co to copy this method and bring it back to main activity and you're going to paste it just below uh, the method that we've just uh, pasted. Now, obviously, uh, this, uh, this is wrong. So I'm going to get rid of uh, this. So what is needed there is a uh, sign in, sign in dot PHP. So this is the URL that we'll be using. And also I've provided this uh, sign in PHP file. And this is the code that it, uh, it contains. And it's as short as, as it is. So once you get this file, again, you can just copy the content and then take it to our local disk C or exactly where you've installed ZAMP and uh, htdocs. Then uh, under Android, you can just paste it in. Uh, mine is already here, sign in PHP, and it just looks the same uh, like the previous one, only that it uh, has a PHP extension. So which means that's a PHP file. So already, this is okay. Okay, so uh, one thing to do, uh, we also have to do is that we, are, we must complete also, we are supposed to add uh, to set progress here. Now uh, we can just go back to uh, the layout file. We're going to add a, pro a progress bar inside here. Uh, so the progress bar is supposed to show us uh, the current progress of uh, how the method uh, is uh, currently performing or where exactly it is. But now since uh, such kind of uh, operations cannot be easily determined, so we are going to use uh, a part of a progress bar that is, uh, is called an indeterminate where we are not able to detect or uh, know the progress of the current operation. So that's what we're going to do and we are going to change the style. To a horizontal progress bar then uh, the max height you're going to make it uh, just 10 dp okay one important thing to do also is to set uh, the gravity sorry uh, the visibility you're going to set the visibility to gone so this means that uh, this uh, this UI widget is not currently present in the user interface until we need it. So we'll only show it when we need it. So you can just go back to main activity and uh, get a reference of this progress bar. So already we've not given it uh, we've not given it an ID but we'll just uh, do that the main then you can give it an ID and give it a uh, progress and okay that's that so you can just come here and say progress and then we set the visi we set its visibility to visible Then we can just get rid of this. So I can copy this again. So I'm going to log errors here and dismiss the progress. So instead of visible here, I'm going to set it to gone. It no means that uh, it no longer exists in the UI anymore so we've just uh, removed it from the from existence 
Okay, so another thing is we are going to log errors. So we're going to do this using a toast message. Then inside here, we're going to add a message. Then we're going to give it a short length. Then we show this uh, toast message. I'm going to copy this uh, inside here. We're going to just paste everything. Though this is normally not necessary, but uh, it's okay as it is. So under JSON exception E, we can also add that. And here we just use E to string. Uh, this E is coming from this area. So this is the variable that I'm using. So let me just uh, paste again. And I'm going to use this variable now to string. Okay, it looks uh, well done. So the next thing to do here is to add params. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, according to our method, our PHP method, you're go only going to use two variables and that is the password and the email to sign this user in. Okay, looking sharp. All right, we've uh, we've already finished here. So right after doing that, then the method the method is supposed to be complete by now. So what is left is just to call it uh, in this button, the sign in button, and feed in the email and the password. Now we are going to get all these uh, details from here, from the e uh, me email and uh, the password. So, this is not that much necessary. We can just remove this. And we just call the method sign in. Then I just call m email and I get the text to string. And the same for the password. Okay. So once the user has been successfully logged or uh, it's successfully, then you're going to get a message saying uh, that everything is just successfully done. So the message is supposed to come as successful. So once you do this, uh, then you're supposed to get successful. Otherwise, then you'll get a message are saying incorrect email or password. So we can just save all this and try to run this method. Now, uh, once uh, this is all successful, it's going to be here. Once it's successful, then there's two things that we want to do. One is that we want to finish this activity and then I will start another activity. And this is the dashboard. Okay, finishing the activity means you're actually destroying it. That means you cannot go back to this current activity because after you finish it, then it's no longer available in the cache. So that's exactly what you're going to do once it uh, returns successfully. And the only way to do this is, of course, just call finish. We'll just call finish. Then, depending with whether you want to send data to that activity or not, 
you can just uh, start this, we can start a new activity right here. Uh, that normally takes an intent, so it takes an intent as a parameter, then you can pass in a new intent and say main activity and you go to home. So having done this already, I will have completed everything. Okay, so now that my app has already worked, okay, so let's uh, take the credential of this user, that is user gmail.com. And the password as, yeah. Then we can just try signing in. So already the message is successful. So which means that this user currently exists in the database. So we can just try with another user. Uh, for instance, uh, this user who doesn't exist currently. <laughs> Okay, exist at gmail.com. And the password is one to six. Okay, and when you sign in, then you're supposed to be getting successful. Okay, that's uh, work well done. So uh, we are supposed to run so that uh, all this can be included in the in the program. So let's just uh, run it afresh. So it's going to destroy this uh, sign activity and then it will launch another activity. Okay, so I'm going to use the details of the and passing the password. Click OK and sign in. All right, so uh, that is done. So what it has done is it has actually opened uh, the dashboard activity. And you can continue with everything. So uh, what happens when you go back? So once you go back, then you're just going to close the program. That's what it means. And when you restart, then you're going to restart it back from the signing activity, obviously, because we've not saved any data uh, inside there. So uh, that's it for today. And I hope you've enjoyed. So guys, please uh, remember to subscribe and share this video. And please just remember to leave a comment so that I can also know uh, how you're doing and how you're faring on. And also, if you have any problem, you can just uh, leave a comment uh, below. So that's it.